look at this. Oh, mama, is that beautiful? Is that beautiful? I'm gonna stick with him on this. Come on, hammer it. Hammer it, brother. I'll keep up with you. I gotcha. V-Rod. On V-Rods. My brother. Got Harley. Got a Harley jacket on. Harley jeans. Paid for him with his Harley credit card. He's got other credit cards. Gotta buy it with his Harley card. Radicals. Radicals on those Harleys. <laughs> so we're on a July 7th motorcycle ride. It's a Sunday. And uh, I'm on the 2024 Road Glide. And Harley Davidson Road Glide goes without saying, right? Road Glide. And my brother, my brother in law's son in law, my brother's son in law is ahead of me on one of my brother's V rods. And my brother is behind me on another V rod. And we're headed to Orchard Park, Spa Coffee. Boy, I should have taken a BMW if I had a BMW. Or the Ducati. Bike's talking to me. Or the Ducati. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a BMW. That's a big BMW joke, right? They go from coffee shop to coffee shop. Which I think is awesome. But... Uh, don't have a BMW really that would be a Ducati ride, but I have to ride the Harley The sound system is Awesome. I'm probably gonna do the bags install the bags myself and uh, We'll give you a look at these bikes at this intersection I want to get the bike on camera Radicals! Radicals on those Harleys! <laughs> My brother is ten times the rider I am and he was not riding for a, a while and uh, he uh, well, then he got a spider, a Can-Ham spider and was on, just loved that Can-Am Spider, which one, they're very nice. I think there is three wheelers. I think three wheelers are great for people who want to ride motorcycles and, and their knees are bad or one issue or the other, or just period, it's a great motorcycle. Um, so that's it, I'll get a, when we stop, I'll get a closer look at those bikes. I'm not sure the year one has the pegs underneath, they're mid, they're mid pegs. And the other one, the one that my brother's on closest to me, has the pegs out in front, which now I would probably love that bike. Uh, I'm not sure. He, I'm glad he's riding them. I'm glad he's riding them. I think that's super cool. And his son-in-law is itching. He's a, he's a racer. He has a BMW. He likes to take to the racetrack and run it. Uh, see if I can insert a picture of that if he'll send it to me. And, uh, you know, we're out for a Sunday ride. I'll catch up to you a little bit later. And uh, it doesn't get better than this, guys. It really does. Let me see if I can catch up to that. I'm in custom mode on the Harley, which I like. I really, when the conditions are dry and you're not in town, I really like sport or this custom mode. I can't remember what the A stands for what mode it is but I, I do like that mode much quicker throttle response as I stand up to go over railroad tracks incidentally this motorcycle probably has more horsepower than one of those bikes but in the day the V-Rod was like the the fast Harley okay let's give you know I'm coming up on a light we'll give you one more take off with them with them screaming their engines see if I can get up here and let them rumble away these, these Harley guys are radicals they are just radicals oh I go I would have went right but he wants to go left so let him go left I can't even think with those motorcycle engines 
Good morning. Took the V-Rods out for the first time this year. I'm going to struggle with the years on these bikes, but I believe this is a 08 V-Rod muscle. What's unique about this bike is besides pegs forward, it has a large 280 rear tire on it. Also, we have my 2006 V-Rod, the first generation of the rear V-Rod that Harley-Davidson made, which has the exposed frame on the bike. This bike has center pegs. It's really meant for uh, more of a handling bike than a cruising bike. But I did change the handlebars on it. They were a little tight, so I opened up the handlebars. They're actually Sportster handlebars on the bike to make it a little more comfortable to ride. Both bikes are fully liquid cooled. Mine is a breakfast sandwich, bacon, egg, and cheese probably and they added cream cheese. My brother doesn't, everything bagel, my brother doesn't know what he ordered. Greg, what did you have? Just a, just a gluten-free egg sandwich. I forgot gluten-free. There's Greg. Hi. Pat's brother-in-law. He's a racer. Patrick's in the Corvettes now, barely rides. <laughs> It's about true. This happens when you have 12 Corvettes. So Greg, Patrick, and I had coffee in Orchard Park, the village of Orchard Park at Spa Coffee. And then Sylvia joined us on her Harley Davidson Road Glide 2024 Diamond White, beautiful bike. And Bob on his 205 Honda Goldwing. And we set out on Route 240 to head to Ellicottville. Just a fantastic ride. If you're in the area, I would suggest doing that ride from Orchard Park, New York to Ellicottville, New York. It's a fantastic ride. Hope you enjoy the video and the sarcasm. Please consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, and sharing it with a friend. Thank you. Bob and Sylvia caught up to us. They met us at the coffee shop. Bob is on his 205 Honda Goldwing in silver, which is just a beauty. That's all I'm gonna, I, I can't stop talking about the bike. It's just beautiful. Those Goldwings, one day I'm an old and Goldwing. It's on my list and his bike is amazing. Of course, my brother and his son-in-law are on the two V-Rods, which my brother did a walk around on those. Sylvia is on a beautiful, Sylvia is Bob's wife. She is on a beautiful 2024 Road Glide with Heinz, I think it's Heinz and Meyer if I'm right, exhaust on it, slip-ons, with the Stage 3. The, she has a full um, Rockford Fosgate stereo system. She has the speakers in the bags, and uh, her bike is just beautiful in that diamond white just beautiful and she's an excellent rider so we got a group we got five bikes rolling here and uh, we're headed to Ellicottville there's a lot going on in the town I don't know if we'll make it into the town and uh, first things my first thing my brother said when they got off the uh, I don't know why he has his turn signal I must be turning first thing they said when we got off the, um, they got off those V-Rods was the heat. So they both were complaining about the heat. I think the V-Rod has no cooling. I'll look at them if we stop again. I don't think they have any cooling on the V-Rods. And uh, they were complaining how hot they were. My brother says he, on the one with the pegs that are mid pegs, he, he burned his leg on it. He was riding it yesterday from our storage building to his house in shorts and he burned his leg. Should've been doing that. But, uh, so we're on a ride. Catch up to you a little later. Look at this view. Look at this view coming up. Oh my God. I, I'm wondering if this is Big Valley. 
we're headed into ski country in our area. What a view. Oh my gosh. I had to pause Miranda Lambert so I could do this video. Wow. So this is a glimpse at the southern tier in western New York. We call it southern tier. Also the, the um, ski country we'll call it. And uh, I don't know if you'd classify these as mountains. Oh my god. I, I think this is Big Valley. I think there's our group. Bob passed me. Greg works down here. He's leading. He knew a way to get us to 240 to miss traffic out of East Aurora. And it's a pretty good route. I do like the 240 route, which I have videos of and I've never uploaded them. But this is a got just a beautiful view. I'll keep you on until we get around this bend. And I have my navigation is off. I'm just going to follow these guys. And th this Harley, my Harley has uh, just coming up on 1,300 miles. I'll break 1,300 miles at the end of this ride. It's going in for service Monday. It's first fluid change. I'm not doing it. I want the dealer to do it so they have a record of it. Um, I, engine's been running flawlessly and this bike use it gets I know it gets 48 miles to the gallon I think it's getting even better than that on a cruise like today she does not use a lot of fuel uh, I, I went through her I want to say a 50 mile ride the other night I didn't even put a gallon in the bike and I topped it off before I left so the fuel mileage on these Harleys, I, especially because I don't race it, I'm lugging it most of the time, is uh, phenomenal. Just phenomenal. All right, I'll cut. Oh man, look at this. I'll drop two gears. Oh, oh I'm loving it loving it and and what i one thing i was surprised how well these these road glides handle you know and guys go with thrasher floorboards or higher up and a little narrower because they scrape the harley floorboards leaning it on turns and I, and i believe it i have no idea what town i'm going through now um they they handle very well and you wouldn't think so you're you're very low to the ground We're in West Boy. I picked up, I rebuilt a Model A engine. I rebuilt a Model A engine and picked it up. We're in West Falls, New York. And I picked it up in West Falls, New York, a lower block unit with a crank. I, uh, there was a, I think it was West Fall Machine Shop specialized in redoing the, I want to say they were Babbitt bearings, I'm not positive, redoing the main bearings on the cranks for uh, Model A engines. And uh, I had to pick it up here. It's actually a poured bearing. Um, it's not machined, if I remember right, and you adjust it with shims. And uh, my father's was shot on his Model A Roadster, 29 Model A Roadster. So I had to pick my 16 years old, I rebuilt the engine on it, but I did not do the main bearings. And uh, actually I did a body off restoration on it. I really disassembled the engine and reassembled it. And uh, really had no idea what I was doing, but I got through it. You learn as you go, right? Let me pick it up a little bit to catch up. I'm falling behind. Ooh, I fell way behind. Greg is really gone. He's taken off. So I'm trail breaking through this turn and forth. It's 
Sylvia loves these. I'm sure Greg's loving it too. Sylvia loves these twisties. Oh, this is a nice one. This is a nice one. Finger on the brake. Oh, these are nice. Oh, these are nice. Even my brother's out ahead of me on these. Oh, well, he's more definitely more experienced than I am. Oh, I'm loving it. Hey, they're all leaving me in the dust, guys. I love this motorcycle. What a day for a ride. What a day for a ride. Oh, they're out of sight. <laughs> uh, they left me. They're out of sight. They're gone. Hopefully they didn't turn off. No, if I don't see them, they just left me in the dust. We might lose our group. Oh, there they are up there. Did Sylvia drop back? Oh, no, I see him. Yeah, I'm so... One thing I firmly believe in, I hope Bob, Bob is very calm, he gets it. You have to ride your own ride. So, <laughs> that just shows you how good of a rider Sylvia is. You, I'm, I'm not going to ride out of my comfort zone to catch up with them. Hopefully they'll slow up for me, um, for Bob and I, and I'm holding Bob up. He's a more experienced rider than I am. Hopefully they'll sh slow up for me at the uh, up in the head, but I'm not going to push the bike beyond my limits riding. All right, we'll catch up to you a little later. A little further down the road, maybe about 15, nah, maybe 10 minutes from my last take. It's just, I love the country. Oh boy, I didn't see this truck falling out. I just love the country. I love driving through the country. And man, I love it even more. Oh, I looked at a tractor here, Land Pro. We must be in Springville. I think this is their Springville dealership. Uh, late Sunday morning, about 10.30, and the I think the churches are doing some, I smell some barbecue chicken. Uh, man, I'd love to pick up some to bring home. If not, I'm going to make ribs. But So we're in Springville, New York. We're probably at least 20 minutes from Ellicottville. And Ellicottville has a lot going on the 4th of July weekend. Bob says there's a Triumph in this motorcycle shop. What, what is this Harley guys with their exhaust? What, what is this? What is the Harley guys with the exhaust? That, that, that's just, that's just not right. Too loud. Radicals. Radicals. That's what they are with the exhaust. Look at, look at my brother. He's got Harley, got a Harley jacket on, Harley jeans, paid for him with his Harley credit card. He's got other credit cards. He's got to buy it with his Harley card. He's got that V-rod with that monster rear tire and the forward pegs. Just, you know, they, they drink the Harley water and uh, they, they just go overboard with it. They just go overboard with it. I don't get it. Harley. Oh, and then he's got to even go even further away from me. You know, he's got to hammer it. By the way, I certainly drank the Harley water and I'm still guzzling it. My socks say Harley Davidson. Crazy. And I have a coffee shop Ducati Multistrada V4 Rally with double the horsepower of this bike. Oh, too funny. Okay, enough about these Harley radicals. Oh, three wheeler, three fingers down for the three wheeler. Prayer for each wheel, right Bob?
Okay, so that's it. We're coming up on, we're on 240 and it's going to tee into 242 that goes into Ellicottville. I don't know if we're going into Ellicottville. Greg is leading and, and this is amazing. Greg is leading. He is, he rides a BMW 1000 R, I think it's an RR, I'm not positive, on the racetrack. All race bike. It's not, he's de-streeted de his BMW race bike. And uh, Sylvia is keeping up with him. That's how good of a rider Sylvia is. Yeah, she's she's <laughs> she's right on his tail. <laughs> that is too funny. And I'm way in the back. Okay. Hopefully the mic is working and this video is synchronized. And uh, Greg, I didn't know if my brother Pat and Greg, my brother was saying Greg's. Greg's got to get home. Greg's got to get home for his, uh, and by the way, I don't blame that person. That's a tough, I thought that car was blown out. They couldn't see around that corner, so I don't blame them for creeping out. Uh, but I just hit my horn to make sure they can see me. You know, it's just one, and my brother told me, Pat, who's got a, been riding since he was 16 years old on the street, he said, about well, 16 years old, so he's been riding for over 15 years. He said, make sure they see you, make sure their eyes are looking at you. And that's my rule, when I make sure they're looking at me. And uh, if they're not, I hit the horn, or I'll slow down, I'm ready to jump on the brake. So, uh, that's a rule. Okay, beautiful. Oh my God, maybe, I've, I've had so many runs to Ellicottville, at least two, and the videos never came out and uh, hopefully this video will come out oh we're leaning hard oh we're leaning her she's a big girl drop a gear gotta do gotta leave the camera on through these twisties oh Sylvia's gotta be loving this so is Greg. Oh boy, guys. Come on, Pete, focus. Shut up and focus. And I'm in sport mode. I, I don't like sport or custom mode, which are the, the power modes. The throttle is much more sun. I don't like them in villages. I don't like them in villages. On the open road, or if I'm on a main road, I like them. But stop and go, it's just too sensitive. Oh, look at this road. Look at this road people. Hopefully my camera's running. Oh, we're going to leave. Oh, I'm, this is nice. This is nice. Oh, mama. Oh, this bike is a, this bike is a dream. A dream. My other bikes would have been fun on this road, no doubt about it, but this bike is a dream. And I'm in fifth gear, and she hinch, man, you saw it, I think I hit it up to 70, no issue. Um, but, oh, man. Raise it a gear. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. I might have to post this video tonight. Those V rods are nice looking. I thought Harley did not do well with the V rod. I thought that was really their effort not to get into the sport bikes, but attract a younger crowd. And I and I don't think they did well with them. Here we're going across the railroad tracks. I, I, they, I don't know how long the V-Rods were around. My brother bought his used. By the way, I think he has 12 bikes. Every time I buy a bike, he says, you're buying another bike? You, what do you need another motorcycle boy? And I have to tell him, Pat, you, you have 12. Well, I know, but pay for him to buy them. You're buying another bike. And by the way, when I send him colors of the bike, he always likes black, and he doesn't own a black bike. Especially KTM, I'll show him an orange KTM and a black KTM, 
And oh, I like the black. Doesn't he doesn't own any black bikes? <laughs> but he wants me to get a black bike. Is people? Is this beautiful or what? I'm over gripping. By the way, no pain in my shoulder. I I I'm trying to relax my grip. I'm trying to relax my grip when I ride and alternate hands. Like I'll use cruise control and alternate, especially my left arm. Um, boy, my brother got a little close to that truck and trailer. So I try to alternate grips, um, relaxing one hand on the grip. And I, I think it's helping. I, I, of course, I've been spinning at the gym, and I go with the lowest bars for most of the ride and hold my head up, and that seems to help. And my brother is uh, riding with us. I think we're, we're going to do a fast turnaround and, oh boy, look at that road ahead of us. We're going to do a fast turnaround in Ellicottville. Greg is younger, he, he gets antsy following, and he, he knows this area, he's a ski, he owns a ski shop. Snowflake Key Shop in Lockport, and they work out a Kissing Bridge. Put a plug in for him. If you're in Western New York, go to Snowflake Ski Shop and ask for Greg, and he'll treat you like family. He'll take, he'll take care of your skiing needs if you're in Western New York. And, uh, oh boy, they're going to let loose here. Sylvia stays with him. Sylvia stays with the young guy on the bike. Racer. Sylvia, that's how good she is. Bob good to him, Patrick. Bob wants to keep an eye on me. That's the type of guy he is. Watch Peter. And, uh... Alright, let me see if I can catch up and six gear to him. We're going to let these baby roll. I'm, I'm probably not going to film anything on the way back, so... If this is a long video, guys, it is what it is. Stay tuned and enjoy it. The suspen this road is terrible coming up, and this really works, the suspension on this bike. Again, the big deal, I think they added a half inch of suspension travel on this motorcycle from two to three inches. And it, I find it acceptable on almost all roads, but this one's a little rough coming up. At least it was a couple months ago when Bob and I rode it. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh, mama, is that beautiful. Is that beautiful? Greg and Sylvia are running away from us. Oh my God, is that, I can't, guys, I gotta focus on the road. I'm, I rambled too much, is it beautiful? Gotta sync the video. Is this beautiful? I'm going to ride my own ride. So what I've noticed on most of my motorcycles, the fuel tank will take a while to come off full, and I like really top them off too. And, and then the first half of the tank goes slowly, and then the second half of the tank goes much faster. Lift the throttle a little bit. I'll take these in fifth. And this is the bumpy part of the road. But it is a nice, man, I, when they redo this, is this gonna be a motorcycle heaven road? Love 240 to Ellicottville. And my bike will be, uh, again, Monday I'm dropping it off. Monday I'm dropping it off, she's gonna get the oil changed. Tuesday I'll bring it down there a day earlier so they can work on it, I'll pick it up Tuesday afternoon. Love this bike, guys. I hope you're enjoying this ride. I'm trying to do you right. I hope you're enjoying this ride. I'm in fifth gear going through these twisties, and I'm riding my own ride. I can't, I'm not going to push it trying to keep up with them. And uh, I'm thankful Bob's got my back. And I'm sure Sylvia is loving following Greg. Sylvia likes to do these fast. She likes to do them. And you know, I forgot I have floor, 
the highway pegs. I don't use my highway pegs enough. Stretch my legs out on the highway pegs a little bit. Now we're in a valley, dark valley like the Wizard of Oz. And I'm in fifth gear and it's fine for these twisties. I, obviously it will go up over 70 miles an hour in fifth. And she pulls fine through these when I gotta slow down like I'm slowing down now. Oh, and I paused Miranda Lambert for this, guys. That's how much I'm giving up Miranda for you. So I can record and don't get into trouble with you. I never thought I would like this motorcycle as much as I do. Guys, I never thought I would love it as much as I do. I shouldn't say love it, I should say enjoy it. Look at this view. Not gonna film a lot in Ellicottville, but just there's the ski slopes off over there the trees were blocking them we're coming at the we're not going to go in Ellicottville on the front brake and the rear brake for rapid deceleration like that word Bob did I say it right rapid deceleration I don't know if my brother's worried people aren't going to see his turn signal I'm going to stick with him on this come on hammer it hammer it brother I'll keep up with you. I gotcha. V rod. And <laughs> 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 V rods. And also, another thing. And another thing, as Al Pacino would say. And that other thing. <laughs> On apparel. Who's that apparel weirdos? on me. I'm not an apparel weirdo. Putting someone's brand on your... You know what? I'm going to put my brand on my body. Look, he's checking on me. He's checking on me. Now, he's going to watch. There's cops on this road. <laughs> yes, there's... <laughs> two retired reserve sheriffs in this group. Plus a... Uh, plus a full-time retired police officer so we don't like to speed don't like to break the law I used to hunt on a piece of property god I love this oh she's coming up on a quarter tank so it's a five gallon tank so you figure quarter tank I must have used a gallon and a quarter of fuel and I've done easily over 60 miles today uh, and I can't figure out how to reset the miles per gallon on this thing I have to hunt for it Oh, there he is. I'm in sixth gear, Pat, lugging it and keeping up with the, keeping up with the V, the puh, and the V, puh. That's what I say to V-Rod, puh. Yeah, road glides are where it's at. Showing off that V-Rod exhaust. Yeah, puh. Yeah, because you don't know that's my spit sound. I'm, sp I'm spitting on you. Spitting, not on my brother, spitting on the V-Rod. I actually like those V-Rods. I can see why I got them. That when they release those, it's like anything else. They come out and they fly off the shelves and then they just don't sell. People have them don't sell. And by the way, the new Sportsters or the new bikes they have are very similar to the V-Rods. I, I don't know them as well as I do the touring bikes. Yeah, I used to hunt. Not yet. I'll maybe I'll close out the video on that. This was a lower property that we never really hunt. It's like marshy. Look at this. God bless our farmers. Almost hit here coming back from a ride off road at Majestic Lost Trail. Uh, someone was driving my truck pulling an enclosed trailer. He was younger than me. Great racing guy off road. And um, a car headed straight towards him. He react, no doubt they were looking at their phone or infotainment system or something. And he swerved, I swear he had to cut the wheels so hard, I thought that it was a 28 foot enclosed trailer. I thought the back of his trailer was gonna hit the car. He was worried too, uh, but he great instincts. I gotta use my highway pegs. Okay, I'm wearing my climb pants, I forgot the name of them. Jeez, I'm losing my mind. I'm wearing my climb riding pants and they're excellent. But they're a little short and I, I have to talk to climb about that. I'm an, an ambassador 
to climb. At least they invited me to be one, and I have a. I'm struggling to do my registration with them. I gotta call them for some help. All right, up here, I think. I think did we pass where I used to? Yeah, we passed back there. If you saw the silos, that's where I used to hunt. I'm gonna turn off the cameras, and I will see if I do any follow-up on this. I'm gonna catch up to my brother. Shows him who boss is. Man, is that noisy! Radicals! Radicals! I don't know if you can hear that. That's the V-Rods next to each other. Doing 60 miles an hour. Boy, they are loud, aren't they? My brother's going to eat this up when he sees this video. By the way, the road glide is just awesome. What an amazing day for a ride. Sorry to keep dragging this video out. Just an amazing day for a ride.